Peter Ash, albino philanthropist. Making a difference in your world. These school children in the northern West Mwanza district of Tanzania seem happy, but because they have albinism, a genetic condition, they live in a state of constant fear. In Tanzania and other parts of East Africa, some people believe albino blood, skin, and hair have the power to make people rich. This has led to a spate of brutal murders. One boy that we visited there, his sister uh, was killed. And so this boy saw his sister chopped apart in front of his eyes. Uh, one limb at a time, her throat was slit and the blood was drained and by the killers while the other children watched in horror. Stories like these are what prompted Peter Ash, who also has albinism, to take action. Last year, he started a nonprofit group called Under the Same Sun. The group aims to help individuals who are disadvantaged by disability or poverty. Through his organization, Ash is raising awareness about the murders and pressuring the Tanzanian government to stop them. We need to see convictions. We need to see more than just talk. And we need to see a concrete plan of action put in place to protect the albino community. Tanzania's average income is about $800 a year. Ash says the prospect of wealth, along with a lack of education about albinism, is propagating the myth. Ash says police officers have been arrested for conspiring in the killings, and so have family members. And in about half the cases, immediate or extended family or close friends are, are complicit either directly or indirectly involved in the killings. I've talked to people in the albinism community, and they, they don't know who to trust. Uh, the only people they really trust are other people with albinism. Ash is seeking action from the United Nations, but so far, despite a visit to UN headquarters, he says he's been unable to attract high-level attention to the plight of albinos in Tanzania. Paige Pollock for VOA's Making a Difference, New York.